hello guys welcome to another short tutorial on angular in this video i am going to show you how we can set date picker's default value to current date as you can see here this date picker's current value or the default value is set to today's date that is 20th to set the default date of the date picker in angular we need to perform certain steps so let's see in this video how we can achieve this one as you can see here, currently I don't have any code here in HTML page and in TS page as well. And when you see in browser, you can see there is a simple label date picker. The first step to set date picker default value is to add the date picker itself in our web page. To do that one, use input field and the type of that one will be date. And save this one. Let's go back to browser. Now we can see there is a date picker has been added here. But you can observe still date is not set to current date. To set the value of this date picker, let me have value and we need to add a variable from which the value need to be picked. So for that one, I will add today's date. This is the variable which I am going to create in TS file. So let me add today's date and here another important thing you should be knowing that the date picker will receive the input in the format of year hyphen month and then date. So to set the date picker's value we need to provide the date in this format that is first we need to enter year then hyphen then month and date. Let me hard code as 2022 hyphen 02 hyphen 28 so save all files and go back to browser and you can observe that date because default value is set to 28 if you change this one to 15 and you can observe date because value will be set to 15 as we are interested to set current or today's date to this date picker we need to fetch today's date to fetch today's date we need to fetch the date from dates object so let me have one date object that is date1. One. Date1 one is equals to new date. As we need to set date because values in this format year, month and date. So let me first pull the year, month and date from this date object. For year I will add a variable as current year. So then we'll have a date1 object from this one. You have a method get UTC full year. So this will give us current year from this date object. Similarly, let me have current month. So and we will fetch the month from date object using get UTC month. And another thing here we need to note down that month will be zero based index. That means January will be zero, February will be one. But when we are assigning that one to date picker, we need to increment by one so that we'll get the current month properly. Then we will have current day for that one. I will have current day is equals to this dot date one dot get UTC date. So this will provide us current day. The next thing we need to do is we need to handle the dates which are below 10. As you know dates less than 10 will have single digit. But when we are putting that one to date picker it's expecting as two digits for months and dates as well. So for the dates and months which are lesser than 10, we need to append 0 to those particular months and dates. So for that uh, conversion, I will use two more intermediate variables that is final month where I am going to store final month which can be directly put into today's date. And similarly, I will have final day. Then within ng on init, write the conditions to check whether the date is less than 10. For month, write as if this dot current month is less than 10, then as I said, we need to append 0 to the current month. So now this piece of code will append 0 to the current month and that will be stored in the final month which we have defined here. So if the current month is not less than 10, then we can directly assign current month to the final month. Similarly, generate a block of code for current day. 
this if condition will check whether date is less than 10 if less than 10 then 0 will be appended to the current day and it will be saved in final day if it's not less than 10 current day will be directly assigned to the final day so the final step is we need to assign this dynamic date to the today's date variable which we are going to fed into our date picker initially we have initialized today's date so let me copy that one and within this ng on in it instead of this 2022 it will be now this dot current year so then i'm going to append hyphen as that is the format then we need a month for this one this dot final month as we have modified the month so then again we need a hyphen then add this dot final day so now we have the proper format of current year month and day and we have put hyphen between these year month and day to make the format which is required for date picker so an add for this one as this so that's it now what we need to do as you can see here today's date was manually hard coded as 15th but later point of time when the app initializes we are changing that one to current date dynamically as today's date is 20th february our expectation is this date picker should be auto set to 20th so let's save this code and switch back to the browser and you can see here as soon as I switch back to browser you can see the date has been set to current date so these are the simple steps which you need to perform to set current date to date picker that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this if you like this video please subscribe to my channel click on like button and share it to others